Okay, I'm just going to show you a problem I'm having with my last shoot. Um, I actually lent my camera to somebody with the uh, the Nodal Ninja setup, and I they actually told me they took it apart <laughs> to do their. They did the 360, then they wanted to have fun with the uh, fish eye, and they took off the Nodal Ninja and put it together again without letting me know. And um, this is what I sort of have now: is these uh, nodal areas that caught a bit of my tri tripod, which is kind of normal, but also it mostly caught like the uh, plate, which I used for my um, sort of my ball head plate, I guess you'd call, it, with my level on it. So, uh, which isn't so bad if it, this was a dark surface, but just by chance, uh, we got a white floor here. So this almost looks like, uh, you know, another chair <laughs> sitting here. This is the worst one. So this is what made me decide to go and fix this. So I'm going to re-ingest this, but before I do, I'm going to sort of do what Google does, create my own uh, Nadir point. Not going to fix it completely. I just want to do a quick, a better version of what this is anyway. So to do that, I'm going to create a set of actions in Photoshop with the original uh, images that I've pre-stitched already because I prefer to pre-stitch and you can see along the bottom here there's sort of this black thing that's that's my uh, my uh, ball head uh, mount <laughs> so what we're gonna need to do here is create a set of actions oops I would just start out of some actions here let's trash that okay let's redo this all over again um, so I'm going to create a folder. I'll name it what I just named it before, the vet floor, because this is a vet. And um, a, a set of actions, some new actions, and we're going to record this so we can reuse it for the all the other panos as well. So I'm going to hit record. So now it's recording my actions. If you go up to selection, it's probably most likely on the rectangle or the circle. If you select single row, it's just going to grab one pixel wide row here. So I'm going to click somewhere near the top here. You don't really see it, but if you zoom in you can see it. And you can like get pretty close and adjust it up and down if you, depending on how much, uh, how close you want to get and how accurate you want to be. You, you don't want the, the nodal area to be too large, so you want to be as close as possible. Sort of find a happy medium there. So once I have that, I'm just going to copy it. Command C and paste it. And that creates a new layer. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so those pixels aren't there. And then I'm going to go and transform that by scale. So just if I can grab onto that, stretch it over. And that should drag over top of my ball head base. Okay. So, and now we're going to save that file save as a JPEG. Let's see. Yeah, it's on TIFF. JPEG. And I'm going to put in a new folder because I don't want to go over top of my stitched ones. I'll just do um, fixed Nadir and save that. Uh, that's good enough. All right. Uh, and we're going to close this down. So file close. I'm not going to save the original one. And then I'm going to stop my actions. So basically I've created uh, one sort of set of actions that I want to apply to all my, my pre-stitched images. So I'm going to go to file now and automate batch. Now it's already which one do you want to play? I want to play the vet floor with the second action and the folder is my source. So I'm going to go find my my uh, stitched folder here and choose that and click OK. I'm just going to watch it as it goes through it. It's basically going to stretch all these down. If I see something really strange I'll uh, go back and take a look at that one. So it's going to be a little bit cleaner when it comes out in the Pano Editor.
So I see a couple there that I might just take a look and see how the Google one handled it because they've sort of gone, I've gone a little too high and I stretched uh, sort of objects. Like that chair leg. It was a very tight space in that carpet there with lots and lots of doors. So that's done. So I can go over to my, this is my stitch folder. Where's my fixed net ear? So if I find that one with the chair, which number was it? Okay, this one. And then open up in PT GUI Pro. Just to take a look at the, the difference here in the preview. So we can take a look at the floor. So that looks a little bit better than that black, uh, big black square that was there um, before. So these ones are all ready to go up to my Google Drive again and uh, ingest. But before I do that, I'm just gonna take a quick look and see if there's any other ones that I did here. I, I did notice a couple go through there and I'll take a quick look at those. And if they're, if they're not as good as the Google one, then I'll leave them out and take the original from my stitch folder for those ones. Basically a little bit of sorting and uh, then upload them all. So that is sort of a quick solution on how to fix the Nadir if you find that you're having that sort of issue with the, um, well, especially with the white floor and the black tripod and things like that. If it's, if it's giving this really gray black area, then uh, you can sort of pre-stretch pre that Nadir in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.